Our next ad, uh, article is a petitioned article which has been revised. I'd like to read it for you, please. Article 18. I move that the town direct the select board to take the following actions regarding North Hadley Hall. Preserve and modernize. Estimated cost, $636,000. Current land value, two, current value, $299,400 building, $724,500 for land. Sell the property with historic preservation restriction. Demolish the building and retain the land for future town use. And that the town direct the select board to take the following actions regarding Russell School. Preserve and modernize. Estimated cost, $839,000. Current valuation, $404,000 building, $443,600 for land. Sell the property with historic preservation restriction. Demolish the building and retain the land for future town use. And that the town direct the select board to take the following actions regarding town hall. Preserve and modernize. Estimated cost $30,000. Current valuation $299,400 building. $384,700 land. Sell the property with the historical preservation restriction. Move the town offices to the senior center building and use the town hall for additional space without renovation. Respectfully submitted, Joseph Fitzgibbons, petitioner. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Joe Fitzgibbon, 22 Roosevelt Street. I'd like to read my comments. <clears throat> the petition addresses only three buildings. And they are the North Hadley Hall, the Town Hall, and the Russell School. There have been multiple surveys over the years concerning these three buildings and nothing has ever been done. The petition asks the townspeople to direct the Board of Selectmen to take action. It is not a request for funding and should help in any future decisions and priorities regarding town buildings. There have been comments made that the numbers quoted in the petition are not right. None of the numbers quoted in any of the surveys are right. They're only estimates and will continue to change. The old Mohawk survey was commissioned by the historical committee and paid for with CPA funds. The DRA survey commissioned by the selectmen was not available at the time of the petition, at the time the petition had to be filed for town meeting. The DRA survey involved seven town buildings four of which have not been previously discussed with the townspeople. They are DPW buildings, public safety complex, the Goodwin Library, and the Senior Center. Your action on these petition articles does not preclude further discussion or final action by the town. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. I am very confused by this. It seems like we are being asked to take multiple conflicting actions. Um, I don't understand how the same article can have us preserve the building, sell the building, or demolish the building. And can somebody please explain that? Uh, Mr. Moderator, Joel Barr, Town Council, uh, I worked briefly last week with the petitioner, Mr. Fitzgibbon, to convert this to, to convert the petition that you saw as an article, to convert it into something that was manageable as a motion, and perhaps, and Mr. Fitzgibbon, this is a question to you, perhaps in each of the three sections here, there should be an or after one and two, in other words, looking at the first one, um, to preserve and modernize estimated costs, 636000 current valuation and so forth, and then it ends and say, or two, sell the property, or three, demolish the building. Mr. Fitzgibbon, is that consistent with what you intended? Yes. <coughs> the petition said three things, to buy, 
or, or to sell the buildings, tear them down, and use the land for other purposes, or to renovate them and follow follow one of these surveys. Right, but to the gentleman's question, if unless, unless we put in the word or, it appears that you're asking for all three simultaneously. I think I believe what you're asking is that town meeting make a choice about one, two, or three. I'm asking them to make a choice of one of those three all right, on so each, of the, each of the buildings. Suggest then that we put in those words or? Yes. Yeah, okay, thank you. Does that answer the question? Yes, thank you. Mr. Bard, yes. I'd like to know if this uh, article is non-binding or not. Mr. Moderator, uh, the whatever vote would be taken under this would be non-binding. So in other words, the town meeting can't, the wording that's in the petition and that was in the motion says, asks that the town direct the select board to take certain actions. So and I, you've probably heard me say this before, but town meeting cannot direct the select board to take an action. Uh, there's a separation of powers here. This is, the town meeting is the legislative body. The select board is the executive body. And so the legislative body can appropriate funds, can enable certain things, but ultimately the select board has the independent authority to decide what actions it will take. So town meeting can provide direction, let's say in this first one, uh, suggesting that uh, North Hadley Hall be, let's say, number one, preserved and modernized. That would be town meeting's recommendation to the select board, but it would not be binding. It would just be a non-binding recommendation. Um, Andy, <coughs> Andy Morris, Friedman, 45 Roosevelt Street. That sort of changes what I was going to say. Um, but we've come to the point where we really have to make a decision about these buildings. Uh, we either have to, um, uh, well, well we, we have to make a decision about whether we're going to keep them or not. And the question, as I understood this petition, was who should make those decisions? Should it be the five people on the select board, or should it be us in town meeting? Um, should we have the discussion, and should we make the decision, or should they? I think that if you vote yes on this uh, petition article, then you're saying that you want to have a role and you want to take responsibility for the future of these buildings. Um, and I think that we should. You know, I, I'm not even sure if 100 people should make this decision, a decision so big about buildings that are so old and so important to our town. But this is what we've got, town meeting. So. If you think we should make the decision, then you vote yes. And if you think that the select board should make the decision, then you vote no. I don't know how many people have seen some of our most recent meetings, um, but to answer your question, I think that's exactly what we plan to do in the next couple of months. Uh, we've discussed it as a board, looking at the buildings and the amount of work that has to be done on some of them and the amount of education that we have to do to everybody to make those decisions. It is our plan as a select board to hold public hearings with the information that we now have so that everybody can come in and ask a question and we have the answer so we can get feedback from the townspeople as to what we want to do and how we want to do it. Once we have done that and we're sufficient with the education process through public forums, we've decided that it's best that we have a special town meeting where we come in and the only thing we talk about is the buildings. So, that way we can have proper time to have the proper feedback from you, the townspeople. Um, I know over the last few years you've heard, well, we've done numerous studies. Yes, we have. But those studies are going to become helpful when we decide what we're going to do with these buildings. Because they are all going to be combined as different tools in a toolbox when it goes to renovate a building. 
with the historic society, uh, study that was recently done, you can turn around, if you're renovating a building, you can use CPA funds for things that have been dedicated, you can borrow money for the rest of the building. All these things are gonna be tied into one plan and we plan to have public forums so that people can come and understand the information that we have and we can look at everything from all angles so that when we have a special town meeting vote, we can have good facts, direction, and move forward. And once we have that plan, we can turn around and put that plan into motion. That was, that was the genesis of the Capital Planning Committee making the recommendation to the select board last year to hire an architectural firm, not just to look at Town Hall, Russell School, and North Hadley Hall. We said, look at all of the town buildings that you currently have so you know everything about them, what needs to be fixed, what's what's in good shape what isn't so that you can have a collective decision rather than trying to do this piecemeal so that is our intent we are going to have public forums we might have them here in the cafeteria where we bring up a building and we talk about it but i think that's the best way to do it because we have to answer everybody's questions and come up with a plan and once we have that plan we can put it in motion thank you Hello, I'm Randall Broders. I live in Atlanta. One second, sir. One second, please. Mr. Fitzgibbons, could you come up, please? Yes, please. And, and no, just straight to the microphone. Straight to the microphone. Uh, you, you heard uh, Selectman West's conversation? I've heard a lot of conversations over surveys over the last 15 years, and nothing's ever happened. Very good. I just wanted to double that's check to see if you wanted the to. <laughs> that's the reason we put a petition to get this stuff off that center. Thank you, sir. Judge Chung. Ryan kind of stole my thunder. He asked me it had to go before me. But uh, what I was going to do is to move this um, petition and table it because of what Brian said. I feel that we need to do uh, a more intense uh, awareness to the public about these buildings uh, and holding the forms. I would like to see a non-binding referendum vote in the spring um, so that everybody has the opportunity to vote on it. And I would also like a special town meeting so that we can address the buildings and not just three buildings, but all seven buildings. The estimate right now from the DRA is $10 million just for the three buildings that uh, Mr. Fitzgibbons wants us to look at. For the seven town buildings, it's $19 million. So those are just estimates. I know that and they change frequently, but that's a better estimate that we've gotten recently than what we've had in the past. So I would move to table this and please let us proceed to um, inform all of the town of Hadley on what we need to do with these buildings. And you're right, Andy. Andy, you're absolutely right. We won't even let Selectman talk their piece and then move the question. <laughs> So then somebody else would have to make the motion to table? Yes. Yes. Any further discussion? Black Machungo, did you want to talk again? She didn't move the question, no. Do you want to move the question? You did. You talked. We really don't let people do that stuff. After looking at all these reports and the latest one, the seven buildings that they're looking at still excluded a couple of them, which we need to take a look at and discuss. But if you're looking at seven buildings over, Joe, you've been looking at them for 15 years, but if we're looking at seven buildings and we do one every 10 years, we're looking 70 years down the road here and we've got seven bil uh, four buildings right now that need work right now. And we've looked at it and looked at it long enough and we need to get together and get moving on it. I moved I moved to take no action on this article. Simple. Yeah. 
The motion has been moved to take no action. It has been seconded. This is a simple majority. It could end discussion. Yes. You have to vote on this, and we'll, we'll see what no, the vote is. No, you can have discussion. I, I'm sorry, Edwin. I apologize. Could somebody please explain the difference between Passover table and take no action? Right. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Moderator, the, so uh, Passover and take no action are the same. Just take no action is, you know, the, the, the formal way to phrase it. Tabling is different. People use it. I mean, effectively it's the same thing, but it's to lay something on the table. Theoretically, you can't adjourn a meeting until you take it off the table. The idea behind tabling is you want to discuss it later in the meeting. And actually, for whatever reason, it requires a two-thirds vote. So I think what people generally want is just a simple majority. So take no action or pass over are the same thing, and that's what you have before you. Okay, it's my understanding that if you take no action or you pass over, then the issue is kaput. That's correct. If you table it, it's got to come back. Well, that's just it. It's supposed to come back, but in my experience, when it's laid on the table, the meeting gets adjourned and then it's dead. But theoretically, if you lay something on the table, you should take it off the table, but nine times out of ten, it never comes off the table. Okay, my concern is that if we pass over it and this issue dies, then we're going to be back where we were. If we table it, you got to do something. It's kind of making town meeting and selectmen take an action. Passing over just means, eh, done. What's next? So that's, my, that's, that's why my concern, I'd be more in favor of tabling it because something's got to happen. Passing over means we're going to be in two months back where we are now. Point of information, the select board have their next meeting on November 6th. Uh, they've prepared an agenda for that meeting and on that agenda is a time frame in, in which to address all the buildings according to the report submitted by the DRA firm. So um, the, I hope that answers the question about uh, the being forgotten. Tim Nyhart, 16 Kozier Drive. I guess a lot of people just want to promise that this is going to go forward and that we do have a promise from all the selectmen that these meetings, no matter how many it takes, that will start this year and be progressive to the ultimate end to figure out what to do with the building. And that's what we really want. Uh, Mr. Nixon, uh, I'm sorry, Andy Klopacki, 6th Road. Mr. Nixon, approximately how large is the DRA report and how many pages? Uh, over 4 pages, four uh, it's, pages. It's, a couple, it's about 150 pages long. Plus the previous surveys. I was just curious that in prepara preparation for the upcoming forums and the like, will these reports be made available to the public for review? Prior to those, it's a lot to sit down and digest the uh, uh, worn articles when we come into the look at them, let alone a 400-page report. Um, if so, these things are going to be published. Could you identify where they will be? Certainly. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about this. Uh, the DRA report is available online. If you go to the Hadley uh, website at www.hadleyma.org, go to either the select board uh, page or the town administrator's page, and there's a link to the DRA report. DRA report is also available in the library. There are two copies available there. And there's a copy available for public inspection at Town Hall. It's just outside the town clerk's office. Uh, if there's another way that we can get that to you, I'm very interested in, in doing that for you. Thank you. And uh, will the, uh, the previous uh, aforementioned reports be available as well in the similar vehicles? There are many pages of reports. They're all public record. Uh, be happy to get that information out uh, as, as uh, efficiently as we can. We'll try to get that out to the same places. Thank you. We will continue with this. We had a public hearing a few years ago. Jerry was part of that when he was on the committee. 
and unfortunately only the people that the building served showed up. There was no community people, so our due diligence is going to get people from all areas of the town to please come to these meetings. We're going to hold several of them. Exactly. That's the point I'm trying to make. Not for you people here right now, but all you at home, we need you to come out and we need your input from everyone. And we need to get these programs moving on these buildings, however we're going to deal with them. I'd like to call the question on passing it over. Is there a second? Second. Okay. The motion was to take no action. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. This is two thirds. All those opposed? Okay, point of order. The motion that was just done was to call the question. Okay, that's passed. Two thirds have just passed. The next one is the motion to take no action. And that's a simple majority. And that is a simple majority. The question has been called. The question is to take no action. We are now calling the take no action, and that is a simple majority. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed. Motion passes to take no action. Okay? But all selectmen, please raise your right hand and repeat after everybody here in this forum. Please help us get this done. Thank you, Mr. Fitzgibbons, for bringing this to light.